As you remember, I've created this token one here, which doesn't exist on this page yet. So if we copy the name and we scroll up to the top and right before object basket, if we create token one equals empty rand function, which will basically generate random number. Now this random number will be passed to this ID of the bat of the uh, proceed to PayPal button. We also need to create another token with number two, which will equal login string two hash, and we use token one in order to be processed. So in other words, this token one, which has been generated here, will be processed by the string to hash method, which will convert this into a long string and will assign it its value to token two. Now what we need to do is to create a session, set session, and we want to call it token two, and the value will be token two. Now, why are we doing this? We don't want anyone to mess around with our system. We're trying to make it as hard as possible for the hackers, to obviously, to break the system. Uh, having this, we're passing the ID, which isn't hashed, through the button. Then inside of the class, which will basically be called uh, using Ajax, we will check if the value of this, which, which has been assigned to this button, is equal to the value which has which is stored within the session. We also hash it later on to make sure that we can compare both the, the strings the same way. But this way we basically adding this extra la layer of security basically. So this is what's uh, what we've done now. We're obviously passing this value now to the button. Uh, let's go back to our page. Uh, let's go uh, to any of the pages. Let's add, let's add some products. Go to checkout click on next and hey we've got a problem here set session obviously set session hasn't been defined yet so if we go back open our classes open our session class we have set item we have remove item we had get session but we don't have set session set session method will be very simple it's public static function set session and we're passing name which will equal null by default l value which will also equal null by default okay now we check if is an empty name and is an empty value then create session with the name, pass as a first parameter, and assign value sent, uh, sent to this method as a second parameter. So that's everything. If we go back to our page, refresh, you can see we've got our uh, summary order here, but I can see that we've got some problems here with the call spanning. We'll have a look at this in just a minute, but let's use a fire back over, over our button. And as you can see, the unique ID now is 41 something, blah, blah, blah. If we refresh the page, you'll see that this has changed to a different number. As you can see, random number has been generated again. So every time the page reloads, the new number is generated and a session will also be created with the same number but uh, processed by our uh, string to hash method. That's all fine. Also, I'm not quite sure about this table. Obviously, you're touching basically nearly the the footer of our page so if we go back summary if we scroll down first make sure that nothing uh, is touching the footer so we need to create another um div we copy this one here class we don't need the border this time and save it after the font tag if we go back refresh you can see now it's a little bit better now let's have a look at this problem with the columns here if we go back to our page is our for each loop. Uh, I can see that we've closed the table row before we've added the last table cell. So we need to obviously move this table, closing TR tag after this TD tag. If we go back, save, go back, refresh. Now everything seems to be working fine, except obviously we need this border to extend over these ones as well. So if we go back, 
we have BRTD. This shouldn't be TRTD we have. Yeah, that's why. Okay, BRTD. Okay, go back, refresh, and now everything seems to be working fine. If we click on the amend order, it takes us back to the basket and check out again updating details now we can see everything here now proceed to paypal if we click on this nothing will happen yet but this is exactly what we're going to be working on in the next videos